Welcome back to Power Director Made Simple. Hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen, because today's video is going to cover a part of Power Director that I have never seen discussed in any detail by other YouTube channels relating to Power Director, nor is it discussed by Cyberlink in spite of it being something right in front of your eyes every time you use Power Director. I'm going to start out by using some sample files that come with the program. I'm going to drag down the Skateboard 1 file. And as you can see, it's just a 10 second video. I don't want to do any more editing on this. I'm going to immediately click on Export. And this is where new users of PowerDirector begin to get a little bit confused. They see all these names and acronyms up here. They have no idea what any of this means until they've had a little bit of practice doing it. But one thing that is most confusing is you'll see the H264 AVC and H265 HEVC. What's the difference? Well, if you look down below, you'll see a description of what Cyberlink gives, but it gives the same exact description for the H265. Toggle back and forth, you can see nothing changes. You can have the same exact parameter set up for each one. So once again, what are the differences? Well, let's go check with Cyberlink with their experts, and they have an extensive array of tutorials that should give us the information. We'll open up a browser. We'll go to the Cyberlink website. We'll click on Support in Learning down at the Learning Center. There, we'll scroll down and we'll click Power Director. And on the tabs that show up here, we want to click on All Tutorials. On the left hand side is a filter. We're going to filter for Windows. We're going to filter for 365 and for the tools that we want, we want to look for something called produce video. We're going to click on apply and the extensive array of tutorials boils down to two. The first one on the list says getting started with PowerDirector for beginners. It's an eight minute video. I have watched it. There is absolutely nothing in that video that relates to producing videos. Thank you Cyberlink for including that in the filter list. The second one says edit like a pro. It's an article. You click on that and down here towards the bottom will say how to produce and upload your video to YouTube. Well, it's very close. Maybe it's some information we want. But as you can see, the first step is to click on the blue export button. The second step, it says select your preferred video format. We suggest going with H.264. There's no other information about any of the other ones. No information about H.265 at all. So let's go back to our filters. Let's remove the Windows platform. Let's remove the product version. And let's just look for any tutorials concerning producing a video. And we've added one. How to produce and share your video. I love it. It says view time is zero minutes. If we click on that, it starts out click on the produce tab you can tell this is an older version instead of export it says produce the next step is select your format and all they have is an arrow pointing to H264 AVC once again absolutely nothing to do or describe H265 so all we can do is go back to power director let's take the video file we have let's create an h265 file and let's just see what happens we're going to select a file name let's give it a real weird name let's call it h264 
265. We're going to save it. We're going to click on the start button. And this 10 second video took just a little over almost two seconds to produce. If we go back to the edit page, let's see what we can do with this 265 file in Windows. We're going to open up File Explorer and there's our H265 file that we saved. Let's right click on it and say open with We'll pick the one at the top of the list, which is the default one. We're going to open with Media Player. And right away, we have a problem. It plays the audio, but not the video. So let's try Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge is a browser. Once again, it plays the audio, but no video. So, do we really have a strange file format here? Well, I can tell you this. If you opened it up using any of the other browsers, such as Chrome, Firefox, Brave Browser, they will all play. If you have any other third-party media player installed on your computer, such as VLC, We'll try it here. It plays just perfectly in VLC. I can tell you this, that if you loaded it onto an iPhone or an Android phone, it will play perfectly on either one of those. If you upload it to YouTube, it will play perfectly in YouTube. So how about PowerDirector itself? Will it play on PowerDirector? Yeah, well, let's try that and see. PowerDirector created it. So there's the file we created, H265. We click on it, and sure enough, it plays just fine. No problem playing in PowerDirector. So far, have you noticed a pattern here? Seems like everybody else in the world can handle an H.265 encoded video file, everybody except Microsoft. Microsoft wants you to download a encoder from the Microsoft Store for 99 cents. Doesn't sound like much, but if you multiply that by the 1.5 billion Windows users around the world, you do the math. So, here is what we need to know based on the best available information around just what is an H.264 and what is an H.265 type file. So what this boils down to is if you are in desperate need of saving as much hard drive space as possible and at the same time maybe want to do some live streaming of videos on social media and in order to cut down on the required bandwidth then H.265 encoding might be a viable encoder for you to use. Otherwise, you can choose to stay with the H.264 encoding. Perfectly safe. Either way, all other factors being equal, there is no difference in video quality. I hope you learned a little something in this video. Please be sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.